What is something you wanted to do as a kid but never got round to doing? Or what is something that has made you want to push limits? It's squishy. What is that? Why is that here? What was that? What's under there? Here is another thing. What is this thing? I would like to know. Let's investigate. Hello there. You join me as I fear for my life. I'm on a little country road. People are fast. I am not fast. I am more fearful than fast. But I'm looking forward to this one. It is my zone 2 run doing 13 kilometers. Yeah, I'm going to be going through the woods. Let's see where it takes us. This route is actually somewhere it used to come a lot on the bikes. Uh, so I do know where I'm going. There's a few points of interest that I would like to show off. We're actually going to be coming back on that path, but I want to go up here and then into the start of the Glen Trail. So you should be able to see behind me here, the woods. There's actually a lot of uh, jumps that we had there back in the day, fucking Niao and Zumi and stuff. I don't know what to say. I, uh, there was a dog that used to live at this old church. Uh, he used to call him Steve. Don't know why, never knew the dog's name, but just such a nice dog. He would always just sit out on the corner, wait for you to go past, bark at you lovingly, and then, yeah, what a guy. Rip in peace my angles. So this is the beginning of the Glen Trail. There's a lot of little things, it's just like, what is that? Why is that here? What was that? What's under there? So many questions. Uh, there's actually one of the videos on the channel, uh, I think it's like winter hardtail riding or something. This section of wood, uh, <laughs> I don't, this section of wood actually have a massive crash on my bike. Uh, see me doing a big somersault. So I'm sure I've mentioned this at the start of the video, but uh, this is my 13k run and I've got this weird thing in my head where I hate running on roads. Uh, I'd much rather be running through the woods. The thought of running like 10k on the road, I just think it's so far, but yeah, to come through the woods and do something like this, it's like, hey, cool, happy for it. Sign me up. Um, I don't know what that is, well I know what it is, it's just for what I do. What I enjoy, but uh, it's just kind of weird the limitations that your brain can, <laughs> can put on you. And then speaking of the limitations your brain can put on you, is when it's been coming to the longer runs, uh, or sorry, I've been doing the speed training, and then coming to, oh, coming to this longer run, as I started making up pains that I had. I'm now on, I'm now on a, uh, 4.6k and yeah like I'm feeling fine but there was just this there was just this thing in my head it's like oh this is sore oh I better watch out for this I better watch out for that and it's just not the case like I'm feeling fine now but again that is noisy that is a uh, yeah um again it's just funny the limitations that your brain can put on you. I think it's just kind of important to keep on trying to push past those limitations, but as responsibly as possible. Uh, yeah, big thing for me is injury prevention, so I want to I want to focus on pushing myself, but doing it as intelligently as possible. Um, unfortunately, I am not that intelligent when it comes to this kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, just a note to yourself Douglas, just keep doing what you're doing, trust the process, yeah, everything will work out as you want it to. So I'm going to assume again, this is for the waterboard or something, I do not know, but hey.
I did think about just sitting in there and trying to do something funny, but <laughs> I am not a funny, oh, jeez, I am not really a funny person, so yeah, just kind of got in my own head there. But I should do it. Again, limitations. Won't know if I don't try. Um, aye, just not to self once more. So I like going to the Botanic Gardens now because apparently I'm old, but there's trees there like, like this one, but it's squishy. Why is that? Satisfying. So another thought that's just crossed my mind as to how many things you wanted to do as a kid, but just haven't ended up doing or just don't do anymore. Um, that thought came back for me. Recently, it's always coming back to trees. Um, why didn't I climb more trees? Or why don't I climb more trees? That's not, that's not what I wanted to say. Um, but the thought comes back to like, I should climb a tree. I'm too old to climb a tree. I shouldn't be climbing trees. All this kind of stuff. But hey, what is something you wanted to do as a kid but never got round to doing? Or what is something you wanted to do as a kid and you've ended up doing? I feel like why should life stop just because you get older? I mean, you've now got, hopefully, you've got money. You don't need a lot, but just enough money. You know what? You've definitely got more money than you did as a kid. Hopefully. Who knows? Maybe you didn't. Maybe you're... I don't know if I fucking can. But, hey. Main point of the story is that keep doing what it is you want to do. That is the most important thing. Like, there's still a child inside you. And it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's important to, to keep listening to that inner child. Be childish, do what it is you want to do. Who cares? Oh, oh my cable just got caught. <laughs> um, <laughs> what is something that has made you want to push limits? Uh, for me, I really like watching like big mountain ski videos and People doing ultra runs, etc. I find it really inspiring. And for whatever reason, just when I watch it, it's just like, I just want to be able to do things I never dreamed possible. Um, I think for me, it kind of comes down to a time scale. And that time scale just being life in general. Um, uh, I think I want to know what I'm capable of before it's too late. Um, I just want to continue doing what it is that I love doing. But yeah, I think now that I've hit 30, I know it's not that old, but it's definitely put perspective on it for me in terms of like my peak is going to be somewhere mid to late 30s. Um, like physically, I might still do more, but yeah, seeing these things really just makes me want to just do things. Um, and that's something that I'm striving for now, like with the running program and just booking stuff to be like I'm doing this holding myself accountable I need to do this uh, yeah because it's just never going to come if I'm not doing anything about it like I just I need to be doing things I need to be proactive so yeah that's just a little rant from me uh, but I'm very curious on other people's points of views in terms of like what is pushing the limits for you everyone's got different abilities and uh, biology, so yeah, it's just what is pushing the limits to you, and like, what are those limits? Where do you see yourself if you were at your limit? For me, as a kid, what I'm doing now, like for work, I never ever envisioned doing this. Kind of just all fell into place. Uh, I started working for my dad's business. Uh, I work as an, an Ames taper, which is basically like a plasterer. But I never visioned myself doing that. Um, I think it was always kind of going to happen that I'd follow in the footsteps of my dad. But yeah, I just never, never ever saw life panning out this way. I am extremely grateful for how it has panned out. But yeah, I think as a child, I wanted to be an architect. That was the thing for me. Um, just like the idea of designing buildings. I don't know, I don't know why, I don't know what it was, but I just like that idea. Never ever did anything to do with it. I ended up doing graphic communications at school. Uh, did a crash hire, got a D on that. 
there's a story there but it's not interesting um should have got higher a year ago telling it should have got higher but i never i drew i projected the drawn in the wrong direction uh we would have got full marks on that drawing but because i projected it the wrong way um apparently it's just didn't get anything for it so i've got a d uh, but yeah that is my story you know actually that has uh, led me into this kind of segue where i wanted to talk earlier about just like the value of friendship and just being there for someone there was reasons for that um but it was to do with them talking about their feelings towards their dad who uh, very very sadly passed away um Ah, um, but it just kind of brings up feelings of like why you should keep doing that. Oh, yeah, fucker. <laughs> why it is you should keep doing what it is you want to do and what you love. Uh, time is very precious, and I think for me, working for my dad and just kind of seeing how he's aging, it's hard to see. It really is, but I think more so it just kind of makes you appreciate who they were as a person, who they are as a person and everything that they have done for you I think it's important to keep doing oh, oh, hey, I think it's important to keep doing what it is you want to do just seen someone so I'm going to turn this off yeah, point still stands do what it is you want to do time is precious, etc that is, that is it well, well, well just found another ropey Tarzan swing, no pun intended. I do not fancy that in the slightest, except <laughs> I really fancy that. Uh, if I was here with someone else, I would do it, but yeah, I'm not doing this on my own. Right next to this though, again, another one of these sort of like, what is it? Old waterworks kind of thing. There's a waterfall here. Uh, you can see water goes in here. Now, okay, so do not know what this building is. Again, presuming it's some kind of thing for the waterworks, whatever, however you want to call it. But. <laughs> I regret coming down here because now I need to go back in there. So this is a waterfall that sits beside it. I'm currently standing on it. Yeah. Right, I am on the last part of this run. I've got the last 3k to go. It is just the final stretch to the house. Uh, it is blowing a hoolie. It's raining. It's right in my face. And all I'm going to do for here on out is moan. So, just going to push through, get back to the house, get cosy. Uh, but anyways, I've had a fantastic day. Hope you have a fantastic day. And maybe see you in the next one.